So yeah, you're probably wondering why is China building a bunch of escalators in the middle of nowhere that are not connected to anything that go nowhere, that serve no purpose? Well, I can tell you, as someone that lived in China for 10 years, I don't ask why are they doing this, I say, of course they're doing this. Because China is chock full of so many different ridiculous government projects. So yeah, I have to ask myself, now why are people watching this shit? I mean, check it out, he's got 333,000 views at the time I'm making this video. I'm sitting here making this video. By the time I post it, he'll probably have more. So it's just a bunch of people out there, and there's apparently a lot of them, that are just happy to see anything negative about China because they're racist. Those are his viewers. That's the, the people that are subscribing to these two knuckleheads. They know it. As you can see here, our first example, our beautiful escalator that goes into the middle of nowhere. Wouldn't you like if you lived in uh, Idaho somewhere and then you're walking through the woods and then all of a sudden you see a big dirt pile and all of a sudden, randomly, there's a escalator going up it, but there's nothing at the top. <laughs> what would you say? What would you do? Look at this story he does about the escalator. I mean, it's absolutely stupid. It obviously doesn't lead to nowhere. It leads to somewhere. According to the Chinese internet, it's on a particularly valuable piece of farmland. So apparently people are using that to carry stuff up, I guess, for planting. But it obviously leads somewhere. It's not that it leads to nowhere. Well, it turns out around China, there was a government initiative to make lives of farmers or agricultural type people easier. So they got some government funding to put in some escalators. Liar. That, uh, I guess, go up to the crops. Or I mean, here's one that looks like it leads to nowhere as well, but it leads to somewhere. It's on a university campus in Utah. So I'm sure that some students are using that to go up the hill. Escalators in the middle of nowhere that are not connected to anything that go nowhere. I don't ask why are they doing this. I say, of course they're doing this. You want to see an escalator that goes to nowhere? I'll show you an escalator that goes to nowhere. La wise guy. Here's one in New Jersey. One side goes to nowhere. The other side is a return from nowhere. Do you Here in New Jersey, you know, it's just something that happened. Just subsidized by millions of dollars in tax breaks. So why don't we talk about some of the absolute most ridiculous, most dangerous, and craziest government projects that China's doing right at this moment. Right at this moment. Behold the mighty reveal, the double toilet. Now this is good luck. I found a video about the big reveal that he had, the toilets, the two toilets sitting beside each other. People in China made just as much fun of it as he did. So it's not like it's a normal thing in China to have two toilets sitting beside each other. What a toolbar. Right at this moment. So this video with the two toilets in it, I did a, like a, just a quick search and I can see that, you know, it's at least from 2019, probably earlier. Right at this moment. right at this moment. Funnily enough, people around the world know that China has a really, really bad sanitation system. It's a very, very dirty country. This is pretty disgusting. Um, this guy's kitchen. See, there's his cooking stuff. There, his walks on the wall. Is his toilet. Toilet and kitchen in one. See, there are even like vegetables and stuff here ready and eggs ready to be prepared. It's gross, dude. It's fucking gross. Right at this moment. You're watching all old stuff. Anything that you see that has sideburn ZA in it, and it's in China, that's minimum five years old, probably closer to 10 years old. I mean, you know, when you go on a holiday, you go on a, you know, you're going to see some foreign place, and uh, what kind of pictures are you gonna take? What kind of videos are you gonna take? You're gonna go around, you're gonna try to find stuff that's gonna be interesting to people. These guys would find a toilet, a decrepit toilet, high five each other, run to their motorcycle, grab their cameras and take videos of it. 
right at this moment. Let's take a look at this truck stop. Oh, 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 oh God, this is gross. This is, <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. This is bad. The smell, the, the smell is just, oh my word. Oh, that's just disgusting. I'm out of here. <laughs> right at this moment. So this video here with the with the guardrail breaking off when the guy grabs a hold of it, that's at least from 2018. That's not news. That's not current events in China. They probably even showed it before themselves. It's just laziness now at this point. But you know what? Their racist viewers don't give a crap. They'll watch it anyway. 333,000 times. Right at this moment. Right at this moment. Absolutely disgusting.